hi guys you're welcome to another video um on how to hedge your gold trades your x a u s d uh, uh trades in case uh, you're not sure if price is uh, going to you know give you some drawdown and then you don't want to lose your your trade or your account so you want to get out with at least uh break even uh this video will illustrate uh, what you need to do now what i've just highlighted are the support and resistance on the 30 minutes uh time frame okay uh the lower part where you have the fractals pointing downwards is the support while the upper part is your resistance on the 30 minutes time frame okay so more like a range we have on the screen currently So, I'm just placing an order right now. I uh, just sold with 1.0 lot size. I'm selling. Now I just placed a sell trade and my take profit will be 30 pips. I'm targeting 30 pips. I expect price to go down uh, by at least 30 pips. Now, I'm just going to adjust the take profit for my sell trade, my running sell trade. That is 30 pips. So, my running sell trade is 1.7 three seven point five seven three just gonna subtract 
three from it to have one seven three four point five seven three as my take profit. The three represents the thirty pips. So the next thing I will do is to place a buy stop. In as much as I have a running sell trade, uh, the edge will be a buy stop, and this will be placed at 49 pips above my sell trade. So the lot size will be 3.0. Uh, my sell trade, the lot size is 1.0. Definitely the edge pending order, the lot size will be 3.0. So if I start uh, with my sell trade or buy trade with 2.0 as the starting lot size, then the edge uh, pending order will be the starting lot size multiplied by 3. That will be 6.0. And if I start with 3.0, uh, my edge pending order will be 9.0. I'm talking about the first edge pending order. So if you are going to add uh, 1737.572 plus 4.9, which represents the 49 pips, the other side will be 1742.5. One seven four two point four seven two.
now just like uh we have the take profit of the sell trade to be 30 pips the edge spacing is 49 pips and we have a buy stop pending order the the take profit of the buy stop or pending order will also be 30 pips so you have 30 pips as take profit below 49 pips as the edge spacing and then 30 pips as take profit above So adding three point two one seven four two point four seven two the TPU the take profit will be one seven four five point four seven two for the buy stop. Now that we have uh, the sell running sell trade and the buy stop hedge trade hedge pending order to get the stop loss for the sell trade, uh, we we'll, we are going to add zero point six to the take profit of the buy stop. The take profit of the buy stop plus zero point six will be the result for the stop loss of our running sell trade now remember the take profit for our buy stop is 1745.472 if you are going to add 0 0.6 to this
the result will be 1746.072. So this is going to be our stop loss for our sell entry or running sell trade. So the stop loss is always going to be uh, for sell trade it's going to be above the buy TP, the buy stop take profit at the top. Now for the sell stop of the for the stop loss of the buy stop, uh, you calculate this by uh, subtracting 0 0.6 from the take profit of this running sell trade to get the stop loss of the hedge pending order, the buy stop. Uh, the calculation is done by subtracting uh, 0 0.6 from the take profit of the running sell trade. The take profit of the running sell trade our sell entry the take profit is 1734.572 uh, minus 0 0.6 so the answer is 1733.972 so this is going to be our stop loss for the pending order the buy stop
so for this strategy uh, i expected price to go down to slide but uh, it appears as if we are in the range so if price continues to go up it's going to trigger my buy stop which is my edge pending order So, uh, for this particular trade, my lot size, the first running trade, which is a sell trade, the lot size is 1.0 lot. So, and my first edge trade, which is a buy stop, the lot size is 3.0 lot. That's multiplied by 3. So if price does not go down, does not slide and eat my TP for my sell trade, it will go up and trigger my buy stop. Now I will have two running trades. So I will need another edge trade and the lot size will be 8.0. It's not going to be a buy stop this time around. It's going to be a sell stop placed around where I have my sell trade, the running sell trade. So that will be my second hedge uh, trade or pending order. The first hedge pending order is 3.0 lot size. The second hedge pending order, which will be the reverse uh, trade. I have a buy stop. If it gets triggered, it becomes a buy. Of course, the reverse of buy is sell. So I have a sell stop, 8.0. Okay, if price reverses again that means if the range continues so that means the first edge trade is triggered then i place the second edge trade of 8.0 lot size now if that trick gets triggered as well i'll place the last edge trade which will be uh to 24.0 lot size so if that gets triggered then i'll start to look at the range the range will normally range upwards or range downwards if it's ranging flat not going up or down but just ranging and appears as if it will continue i i will start to unlock the trades i, I mean after all the trades have been triggered and i have four running trades i'll start to close the Trade starting from the bigger lot size, which is the 24.0. Then I close the 8, then I close the 3, and then finally close the first trade, which is the 1.0. But if I have a pattern that shows that price is going upwards, I may not place the last, uh, I may not place the last trade, which is 24.0. I could just stop at the second edge trade, depending on which direction price is heading how can you know the direction where price is heading when price starts to form higher high and higher low that means it's going up or lower high and lower low that means it's going down then there is no need for you to hedge in the wrong direction But if you look at what the chart is saying currently on the 30 minutes time frame towards the left i have a low then i have a high then i have a lower low and a lower high then a lower low then suddenly i have a higher high okay and prices are the middle between the lower low and the higher high so there is no defined direction for now but the last set of candles, the last set of three candles are bearish. Uh, that is one of the reasons why, the reason why I placed a sell trade. 
uh, that it's not the other it's not going to stop at three candles three black crows it's definitely going to take another candle down towards the support area before it goes up so that's why i place my uh, sell trades my sell trade so i expect price to slide and i'll take profit but my insurance is there which is the buy stop if price goes up it triggers my buy stop of course i have to run into it then i'll need to place a second edge pending order which will be a sell stop of 8.0 lot size okay uh, in case price does not trigger the take profit at the top and the stop loss at the top i have take profit at the top which is for the buy stop 3.0 lot size then i have stop loss at the top which is to close my running sell trade of 1.0 uh, lot size but if that does not work if it does not get to the take profit at the stop loss at the top and continues downwards again towards my pending edge order of 8.0 lot size then i know the range continues if it triggers the 8.0 lot size at the point where i have my sell trade of 1.0 lot size if it triggers that means i have three running trades then i'll place the final if i see that the range is going to continue i'll place the final uh, edge trade which is 24.0 uh, lot size which is going to be a buy stop then i start to assess the range is it going upward if it triggers my buy stop and I know it's going upward, I'm fine. But if it does not trigger my buy stop or rather starts to uh, show that it's going down, then I might need to delete uh, the 24.0 lot size pending order. So this strategy gives me the room to assess uh, the range where I'm stuck, where my, my trade is stuck. And then try to hedge in the right direction so that I can have break even. Break even in the sense that I do not lose and I do not gain, or probably I gain a little.
for now it appears as if uh, the cell trade decision is somehow wrong should have bought instead of selling as price is going up but my pending order is yet to be triggered still have enough room for price to slide down and trigger my take profit below while we wait for price to um, go in one direction let's look at the indicators on the screen the settings for those that are interested in the indicator settings okay on the main chart we have moving average 50 period simple color is blue also have another moving average period is seven method is simple color is red and we have bollinger bands period is six division is 0 0.02 color is purple another moving average period is 200 method is simple color is black of course fractals shows you support uh, resistance areas then we have moving average period is 21 method is exponential color is gray then for indicator window one we have the bs power macd and parabolic sar for the bs power period is 13 color is green for the MACD, we have 12, 26, 9, color is green for the signal star. Of course, uh, the MACD level is zero. Then for the parabolic SAR, we have step to be 0 0.03, maximum 0 0.3, color is uh, black. For indicator window three, we have average. Uh, we have the bulls power. Period is thirteen. Color is orange. I'm talking about indicator window two. Uh, MACD we have twelve 
26 9 color is red apply to close of course this level is zero color is black still on indicator window 2 we have parabolic SCR step is 0 0.03 maximum 0 0.3 color is red that's for indicator window 2 let's go to indicator window 3 we have average true range the period is 13 color is cyan or green and the level is black still on indicator window 3 we have moving average period is 200 method simple previous indicators data color is black okay another moving average period is 60 method simple apply to previous indicators data color is blue still on indicator with the three another moving average period to be 20 uh, method simple apply to previous indicators data color is green then uh, the final indicator the indicator on indicator on the three we appear to be five for a moving average simple previous indicators data color is red then we have indicator with the four macd 20 26 9 and the signal style color is red uh the macd level is zero then we have stochastic oscillator to be 20 3 3 close on close simple lemon on green and the levels we have 595 color to be black so that's the uh, indicator settings for those that are interested in the uh, parameters So we'll have to, uh, we'll see you in another video where we have the conclusive part of how the trade, you know, panned out. For now, the trade is, the price is ranging. It appeared as if it was going to go up. For now, it's going down. Two of us might take profit for the sell trade. Uh, in the next video, the part B for this video, we are going to see if I won the trade or my hedge trade pending order got triggered. See you in the next video.